gamers, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's your boy ASAP Gamer coming back with with uh, the third part of our survival build series of um, the third. It's just the third episode of this freaking house build. I'm so excited to be going with it uh, with it with you guys today. Still can't English because I am a degenerate. And it's just whatever. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video here. We're going to be doing the roof to the patio. And we're going to be doing the back deck as well. And then when we're done with those, we're going to be doing the interior of our new survival house. So let's go ahead and get on in here. And let's go over some supplies that we'll need for the build. So um, let's go ahead and get some building blocks here. Uh, we're going to need oak wood planks. And uh, let me just go ahead and toss those into the inventory there and put those over here. Let's bring the oak wood planks over here. And we're also going to need um, oak wood fence. Whoops, oak wood fencing. There we go, oak fence. We'll also need um, oak wood slabs. Oh, it's over here, right there. And, um, okay, I actually have some glass to fill in at on, in the upstairs because we didn't do that last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some black stained glass for that. Whoops, wrong one. Let's put that back. Um, what else would we need? Well, if I need anything more, I'll just kind of check it out later. So, um, let's go ahead and start out with the patio roof. And I'm kind of thinking um, about taking this bit out here, these three slabs right here, and we're going to replace those with uh, oak wood planks. Whoops. I accidentally removed that, uh, oak, that oak trunk. Or that oak log, I guess. So let's go ahead and put that back where it belongs. All right, so with that, um, we're going to go ahead and take oak fencing. How would that look? Not good. Okay, so we're actually going to bring out the patio roof about to here. That kind of lines up just nicely with this um, overhang here. And we're going to take oak fencing. We're going to place that one, uh, two, three four, I think. Yeah, four. We're going to bring it up four uh, stacks high, and then we're going to take oak wood slabs and place them along the top here, like so. And on this, you're going to go all the way out to where it meets up with the edge of the patio here, and then bring it out this way to where it lines up with that oak fence, and then you're going to just basically connect that up these. Come on. There we go. So that should look something like that. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. And then we're just going to fill in this bit here. Okay, so with that done, we're going to take more oak slabs and just kind of add a little bit more texture to this. So what we're going to do is take oak slabs and, and put another stack of those on top of these here. To where it kind of leaves, to where it kind of leaves about one block left over, over here. And you're going to fill this in as well. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay, so with that done, we are then going to take some torches here and kind of light up the entrance. Put a torch here and here. So now that's starting to look a little bit like a porch. And what I'm thinking about doing with this right here is I'm actually going to take... Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. So we're just going to put an oak slab there just so that kind of looks like that the porch arm overhang kind of has like some kind of support into the ground so yeah i think that looks really nice um but yeah again you can do whatever you want to do with this if you want to add like some more uh, fencing here or something and you want to put a gate on it go ahead go right on ahead and to be honest with you i think we'll just go ahead and um well actually no I think I'll just put like one of those fencing, one of those fences here or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out later if I come up with something, but I'm definitely gonna leave it like this for now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the rear deck, and this is where our oak planks are gonna come in. And I'm half tempted to just move this door over to right here, and then. Um, just leave this like that because my shader doesn't like that spot. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get an oak door once again and put it right there. Sweet. I think that looks better. And then we'll put torches over here just so that we kind of have something to um, have light over here. And um, I'm going to kind of map out what our deck is going to look like from the oak fencing so I'm gonna go ahead and stick these here to kind of show some support for the actual um, for the actual uh, base here so we're gonna go ahead and put oak wood slabs like so oh whoops not there on the top half of these cobblestones here then you're gonna make a second one and we're basically just gonna have to and we're basically just going to triangle triangle it all the way through. Wait, no. Not with slabs, with planks. I'm going to do this with planks, sorry. I'm going to do this with planks. I'm going to create two layers of those. And then we're going to move in one with the planks. So instead of putting... Um, so instead of putting one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to put in four. So, And then over here, we're going to do two. And then that'll be it for the porch. And then what you're going to do is take oak wood slabs and place those on the bottom half of, of those logs, as you see. As you can see. And then you're just going to kind of outline everything with those slabs. So it kind of creates like some kind of railing. Oh boy. Whoops. Um, did I miss something up here? I must have. Hold on. Yep, that was it right there. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Sorry about that. And then we're gonna go ahead and just stick that right there. And then we're gonna have two more fencing, two more fences coming down this way. Okay, that's actually starting to look really nice right there and whatever you guys are going to do with this back part maybe you could like build like a pond or something kind of make it look a little bit more like a landscape you could actually kind of fish off the stick if you could if you really wanted to but um 
yeah, we're just gonna do some interior now that we got our the the decks done and the roofing done. So let's go ahead and go inside. And I was thinking about making this area kind of like a living room. So for this, we're gonna need um, put all these back. We're gonna need oak slabs, oak wood stairs, not planks, but stairs, and then we're gonna need, I think we'll need fencing again, and yeah, we're gonna take fencing, and then carpets, Need carpets. Uh, white carpet will do for now. And then we're gonna have enchantment tables and bookshelves to kind of show you where we're gonna put our enchantment station. We're gonna need, um, oh yeah, here we go. Brewing stand and an anvil. And one more thing, I think we'll get a bed. And for right now, I think we'll put away the bookshelves and then put in the crafting table for that. Okay, I'm gonna start in the upstairs real quick. And I'm actually gonna take out, um... oh gosh, where is it? Okay, it is this block. So we're gonna take out that block and we're gonna put a slab down there. And then take all these out because it seems a little bit smaller with all of these blocks like so so and i think it looks nicer okay so now that we have that done we're gonna take um our beds here and i think we're just gonna put these right here and two of them just kind of looks a little bit nicer and then we'll put crafting tables as like kind of like nightstands or something I'm gonna put, um, I think we'll have our brewing stand, um, hold on, what is up with my shaders, like, it's allowing light to come through, and I don't like that, <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I think we'll just take out this entire thing right here, this entire floor piece, because... I don't know, um, I just feel like this doesn't belong here, and that it kind of, like, we can make this room like a loft instead. Because, I don't know, I think it just looks nicer. I'll definitely put some fencing here, though, so we don't accidentally fall off here, because you can actually take fall damage without taking the ladder, so. Or at least I think you can. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not going to take my chances, because I think you can't take fall damage from four blocks high. To some people, that might not mean much, but it, it, it does. Oh, gosh, I didn't put the glass in here. Oopsie-daisy. Let's go ahead and get the black stain instead of the brown stain like we did last time. Oh, whoops. Got to select a slot first. Um, I think we'll do the bed, so... Because we have, we've already gotten the beds put down. Okay, now I can, now I can rest. Um, I think I'll put, ch I'll put a chest in here as well to kind of like sort out some armor or something. But for now, I think we'll just leave it at this. Um. Okay, so we'll we'll go ahead and work on the living room while I still have some ideas in mind. So we'll kind of have like stairs like this, and kind of have it branch off like so have a sectional here, and then have a white carpet to kind of be like a rug or something around here. And then we'll have three oak stairs kind of inverted like so to kind of be a couch. And then um, then we're going to come over here and have One of these facing like this, one like this, 
and then have a fence with a carpet on top of it to make like a little table, like a dining table. I think we'll do it like this. There we go. <laughs> Didn't mean to put that there. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, and then... Um... Um, is it over here? Nope, it would probably be here. No, not there either. Um, okay, so it has to be here. I'm just not looking hard enough. Okay, then we'll get a block of iron. Take out the oak fencing, because I think we're done with those. And then we'll put the block of iron like so. And then... Uh, grab our oak wood slabs. Whoops, not like that. And then kind of create like a counter here. And then we'll get a furnace to kind of create like a little kitchen here. So you've got your furnace and... Um, Yeah, I'll actually think, I think I'll take these out and then put another slab. I actually put down an upside down stair here to kind of show where the, um, to kind of show where the, um, freaking counter ends. Gosh, I can't formulate a sentence today. And then we'll just have a cauldron right here as kind of like a sink. And for the refrigerator, we'll get an iron door. Oh, that'll be in building blocks, of course. And then iron door. Oh my goodness. I'll actually put some of these away so I can have some room. And crouch here and put the door like that. So it kind of looks like a refrigerator. Kind of. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think that looks really nice. Um, so you got your dining room, your kitchen, and I'll actually put some carpet in here. Um, only in places where it would seem appropriate, you know? So, like, we'll get white carpet, put it down here as kind of like a drying mat to keep your feet dry. And, um... Yeah, I think that looks good, and I think we'll get a painting real quick and then just kinda have something here to resemble a television okay that'll work <laughs> that's a big TV <laughs> um, okay now let's go down here and let's um, put where did that place oh it placed right there that's kinda weird um, we'll actually take out these furnaces here take out these torches and these furnaces as well I guess and then we'll have like our enchantment area right here and so with that we'll have our bookshelves surrounding it once I get my inventory all settled out here I think I could just put this back. I don't need it anymore, as well as these. And we'll have these set up just like so. And there has to be 15 for it to be maxed out. So one, two, three, four. I think that's five. This is seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, I think we'll put the 15th one here. I think that'll reach, right? Uh, let's get a weapon first to kind of see if that'll reach. Let's 
Let's get a diamond sword here. Did I not place that correctly? Hold on. I think it has to be like that. And then you can put that in. Yep, okay, there it is. So, actually, I don't think that bookshelf will work there. I think it'll work right here. Yep, okay, there it is. Alright, so that's that for the enchantment area. Let's go ahead and put all these back. And now what we have to do is create a brewing area and then a place for the anvil. I guess we could just kind of place those right here. Yeah, that'll work out. Okay. That looks all nice. That looks really nice. So we'll kind of go ahead, kind of check out everything here. This looks awesome. I think I'll go ahead and put some torches on the inside here. Just to kind of light up the place a bit. Making sure that no uh, mobs spawn in here at their own will. Oh, I can't place that there, because there's a carpet. And then... Place that there. And I don't think I put torches up here. Nope, I didn't. So we'll kind of put those right there. Perfection. Alright. Well, I think that'll be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. And, um... That concludes our survival build. Our survival house build. So this is kind of what our house is going to look like within the um, the survival series that we're going to be doing within probably by next week. I'll have to see what I can do to make videos and whatnot. But I will definitely, guys, see you in the next one. Peace!